Alright, what's up everybody? It's Mox Cage Radio. I take it out to Kingsburg, California. I talk to the Baptist, a.k.a. John Matheson, my man. How's it going? Going well, going well. Alright, uh, take me through it. Uh, last time you were going to fight, uh, you stepped up a couple of weight classes. Now, what weight do you normally fight at? I was uh, Actually, I was, I was heading down to light heavyweight. Uh, I was fighting at a uh, cruiserweight for some time, and I was, I was making good uh, strides at making a uh, 205. Got the call to, you know, if I wanted to fight, and, you know, I'm a fighter. I said, yeah, yeah. Found out it was a heavyweight fight, and here we go. Okay, so uh, last time uh, something happened. Uh, you got, you made it to the scale, et cetera, and so forth. I show up to the event. They say the fight scratched. Take yeah. me through it. What exactly happened? Well, uh, I woke up in the morning. Uh, well, you know, uh, training went well. Everything was going good. You know, I was well on weight. You know, I was having a hard time actually keeping the weight on. You know, from training and everything, got to the venue, uh, weigh-ins, waiting, uh, waiting, fine. Uh, just I wasn't feeling well. Something was. I knew something was wrong with me. I just figured, you know, it was a change of weather because it was really, really hot today. So I was like, you know, just was just roll with it. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't complaining about it. Uh, sat down with the doctor. The doctor did my vitals and said, "Hey, man, this is going to happen. Your uh, lung capacity. I can tell by your breathing. Uh, something's wrong. Took my temperature." I had a 100.6 temperature. Mm. Took it again, and then it, I guess went up to uh, one and eight. He just told me no fight, and he's like, "I can't you go out there and in this heat. It's your, your, your no go." Right. It was absolutely ridiculous that day uh, in the heat. So it's probably a good thing you didn't get in the cage. I mean, we may not be talking right now, yeah, you know, yeah. with the way that that weather was. Okay, so. Um, Jeremy Luchow, the matchmaker for 559 Fights, decided, hey, let's give this thing another shot. Let's do this again. I know Jose Espario wanted to do it the first time. He definitely wants to do it this time. Uh, take me through some of your training. What have you been doing to prepare for the big man? Well, uh, I've been, I brought in a, a, some of my, my guys I trained with uh, from uh, Reedley College. One of my buddies' name is uh, Peter Blanchard. He's a big 295-pound uh, dude. I have him on me, and I'm just working with wow. him on me working for bad positions, uh, working with my boy Leo too, uh, helping uh, get up, pushing up on the cage, and me having to get up the cage. You know, work bad positions. Um, I'm a jiu-jitsu guy, so I'm pretty comfortable on the ground. It's been a while since I've actually had to go up against somebody who's uh, more on me than you know than usual. And uh, when uh, Jose weighed in, he weighed in at 58, so I'm very he's to be about that size again. So okay. I was expecting him to come down and you know, meet me down around 235 or so. So it's been pushing, pushing a lot of heavy weight, uh, pushing the car around, uh, around the block, a lot of cardio, a lot of a uh, lot, lot of stuff to just uh, work with the wind and and get get to it. A lot of hands because you know I want to be able to keep it off. So it's just you know working uh, everything I wasn't normally doing. You know, being the fit guy and working with these guys that I could usually go around, you know, I don't mind getting in on. But with a guy that's going to be heavy with me, bigger than me, you know, he, he gets his arm around me, expecting him to just toss it, you know. He's probably doing that all day. You know, he's a big boy. He's got a big stack arm. So, you know, as we do, you stepping it up, you know, push more weight around. All right. So, um, obviously, uh, this is uh, the the co-main event or main event. I'm not sure exactly how Luchow has got it uh, planned out. Um, bottom line is, a lot of people have been talking about this fight. Some people have been running their mouth saying that you know you're scared and whatnot. But I mean, you're taking the fight again. So I don't know how the hell you could be scared since yeah. you're coming back for this. Uh, take me through it. What? How do you expect this fight to go down? Do you are you going to try to keep it on the feet? Are you going to try to take it to the ground, or is that something I'm going to have to find out next Saturday? Well, that's pretty much something we're uh, we're just we're just going to uh, let our hands go. You know, uh, I've seen video on him. You know, he likes to, he likes to throw them. Uh, I've had a couple fights where I've had guys like to get in get up on me. I'm an aggressive fighter. I like to get in the face. You know, I like to I like to work my takedowns, work my jujitsu. Like I said, he's a big guy, so uh, going for a takedown. You know, if I you know just he could possibly, you know, if he stuffs it, he, land up, he gets on top of me, but it's a bad day for me. So I've seen him trade with uh, trade in a couple of his videos. I'm ready. For I know he's, I know he's gonna. Bring it. I know I can come in and uh, fighter. I, I wasn't taking anybody. I wasn't scared. I'm definitely not scared. I'm taking. I'm coming up to the fight the guy. You know, it's just I'm, I'm not to fight. I want to have a good show. Not, and I want the fans, you know, to get their money. I mean, I know the, uh, the heck waste that I mentioned, the main event, and you know, we're going to do what we got to do. All right, fantastic. It's going down uh, this Saturday. I'm sure you got a few tickets still remaining. How could they get a hold of you if they want to buy some tickets? 
But right, well, a good way to get a hold of me is uh, there's always call me on my cell phone. You know, hit me up on Facebook or you know send me inbox. You know, uh, via uh, email or something. But basically, you hit me up pretty fast on uh, Facebook, and it's a uh, Facebook John Mathis on Facebook. Okay, fantastic. Now I know you got a pile of uh, sponsors, and I'm sure it would be a good idea to thank all of them right now. Go for it, my man. Yeah, I want to thank my uh, management, uh, Team Reese, uh, Team Reese Spider Management. I want to thank uh, my my sparring partner uh, Leo Cantu in the pit. Uh, I've got Custom Fitness for helping me with my custom workouts. I have uh, uh, Ramos Insurance who's been with me since day one. Uh, I have my gym, Slaughter Hut Jits, which I train out of. Uh, uh, you know, guys come in, help me out. So, uh, Infinity Eat Tattoo, uh, if you get your, get your, uh, get your work done, definitely get them up, you know. So, uh, pretty much what we're doing, we're rocking out. All right, fantastic. We're definitely looking forward to it. It's going down next Saturday. This time, folks, it's inside. So, the weather should be, uh, I'm assuming, around uh, 70, 80 degrees at the absolute <laughs> most. All right, we're looking forward to it, my man. We wish you the best of luck. We will see you next week in the cage. And keep those doctors away from you. I will, I will. <laughs> Keep my All right, my up. man. Thanks again. All right, John.